Uh, if there's one word for um, that I would hope everybody got out of the uh, talk tonight, it would be uh, uh, the, it would be um, uh, the word is cannabidiol, otherwise CBD. CBD. It's Charlie Brown David stands for cannabidiol. It is of the same molecular family uh, as the molecule THC. Has everybody in here heard of THC in relationship to cannabis? THC is um, the best known molecule in cannabis because it's the psychoactive component of cannabis. And in my opinion is, uh, uh, and also very substantiated in medical literature, uh, is the um, THC is the chemical that is responsible for most of the negative side effects from cannabis. Um, and with the exception of, uh, of uh, nausea uh, and appetite stimulation, which it's very good for, has a whole host of other negatives. Um, so that when I approach cannabis, uh, I often am very much downplaying uh, THC strains and uh, enhancing other strains of other chemicals in the plant, the one that I mentioned first, CBD. Um, CBD uh, is um, uh, uh, a wonderful molecule because uh, it is the best pain reliever of all of the compounds in cannabis. Uh, it is anxiolytic, which means it reduces anxiety. THC actually can cause or create anxiety in certain patients. Uh, CBD uh, opposes that. Um, and this is not, the, the, the concept of two different chemicals in the same plant is not foreign to uh, na uh, nature. For example, green tea, which is classically thought of as very health promoting, um, obviously has caffeine in it. Um, but what makes green tea different than coffee is that green tea has another chemical in it called L-theanine, uh, which counteracts the negative aspects of, of caffeine, such as the jitteriness uh, and, um, uh, and, and other issues. So it's a, it's a common concept. Um, uh, patients who use um, uh, cannabis that are high in CBD uh, have, they don't have the short-term memory loss that is associated with cannabis. Uh, they have, in general, much better pain relief. And um, I did bring a, a PowerPoint presentation today uh, that has all the peer-reviewed literature, and I will either be uh, posting that, uh, um, because I think it's probably a little too big to send out in an email, but I'll try and shrink it down, or maybe uh, Joe is pretty good with, uh, with that, so we can get that into a format that you guys uh, can use and can examine. Um, so I just want to put that piece out, and I'm going to show you, uh, it's going to be too small to see on the, um, on the screen, but I'm going to just show you uh, something very briefly, which is a little pie chart. Um, this, um, uh, this, and this is on the presentation. You see the multicolored wheel here. Uh, there are over 70 cannabinoid molecules that the cannabis plant produces. Uh, the blue on top is the CBD, and each of the arrows are a biochemical pathway um, uh, and or a, uh, a physiologic effect. Um, and uh, uh, CBD has anti-inflammatory properties, it has anti-psoriatic properties, which means that it helps fight psoriasis. Uh, it helps THC be a better anti-emetic, so it helps THC further prevent nausea. Um, uh, it is, uh, there. if you go home and Google it, there are tremendous now, a huge body of animal uh, and cell tissue studies on anti-cancer proliferative effects. Uh, um, very few human studies, uh, but very many uh, animal studies, and there's a political reason for that, which we can chat about a bit. Um, it's also anti-spasmodic, uh, so any of my MS patients, I want to make sure that they, multiple sclerosis patients, I want to make sure that they have CBDs uh, in their medicine. Um, it is a neuroprotective, uh, and uh, there are very good studies showing how it prevents against uh, glutamate toxicity um, and uh, is also antipsychotic. So one of the main uh, issues with cannabis is that it can produce or push certain predisposed patients towards a psychosis. Um, 
unless the medicine has CBD in it and then it's actually in it and it has antipsychotic effects. So um, <coughs> that's I think the main first point and I think that probably what I like to do is, is open the floor up to questions uh, and then kind of weave in uh, the information that I want to share for you guys. So does anyone have any questions?